Good morning, Vietnam! It has been a very, very long time. And I look fantastic. However, I'm excited about something. So my husband, if any of you know me personally, know how he is very health conscious. And he's constantly researching what's best for his body. He bodybuilds what's best for his joints and just a good way to get good nutrition um, into his body. And he has been on a bone broth kick. And bone broth, if y'all don't know, is expensive. Is expensive. For like $5.99, $4.99, correct me, from Wegmans, organic bone broth, 32 ounces. So that's four servings and he'll go through two in a day. So he was asking for like four or five cartons a week. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, trying to live on a budget, trying, trying to do things smarter. Okay. And so I tried to look for some, sorry for the awkwardness, some recipes online. I have an instant pot. I know it's possible, but the question was going to be, excuse me, is that me and my nails and my face? Uh keeping it real people um get some light up in this business with my instant pot trying to find a recipe that was decent and my fabulous fed fabulous my goodness one cup of coffee 9 30 in the morning say that twice in a row fabulous friend Rebecca actually sent me an excellent recipe for an instant pot roast his rotisserie chicken rotisserie chicken um, and the chicken was delicious. It's fabulous. I probably next time I just bought a roaster, like a regular family roaster. I get a tour of my kitchen and my dishes. Um, I next time will probably make the investment of buying the organic chicken because why not? And it just was some spices, salt, pepper, paprika, oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, and a lemon. And I think I forgot the lemon. Did I forget the lemon? Just realized I did. There's that lemon. It's supposed to have a lemon. Needless to stay, it was still really delicious. Um, you put a cup of chicken stock at the bottom of your Instant Pot. You put that little tray in there and the chicken on top. And then you let it at high pressure cook for 30 minutes. Chicken done. Then I pulled the chicken off, kept that liquid in the pot, cause why not? And pulled out the tray, let the chicken cool. Um, actually I kept the chicken in, take that back. I kept the chicken in, put my instant pot like glass top on top and just let it hang out. Took the chicken out, deboned it, put that in a bowl for salads and tacos and all that kind of stuff. So that's serving its own purpose of chicken <laughs> and everything the skin the bones everything when I debone the chicken I put back into the instant pot then fill the pot back up to maximum capacity which I've got an eight quart which is six liters and put it on high pressure I was like I don't know three hours like that's a lot so there you go and it looked pretty good so I let it cool down on the counter first because you never want to take anything when it's hot and put it straight into your refrigerator. Let it cool down on the counter and when it was done chilling out, put it in the fridge and sort of let it hang out. Because what you want to do is let the fat um, get to the top. It gets this like nice thick layer of oil. Like if you were going to do some like, I don't know, chicken fried something. Like that chicken fat would be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, However, it went Womp womp down the drain. See my dishes? There's my Instant Pot. This is life, people. There's my little cloth. Norwich cloth. Um, so that was my process. So I let it chill in the fridge for a couple days because I didn't have time to get to it, honestly. But I wanted to portion it out and so that it was freezable for my hubs. So, long story short, ready? Da, 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 da. I have a ladle. Um, my ladle, I specifically measured 
into a measuring cup what my ladle gives me and the ladle is half a cup. So I did two ladles and each of these little suckers. I got this from Wegmans. You can get them online at Amazon as well. Um, I think Costco even carries them and they are freezable and microwavable. So guess where those babies are gonna go live? In the freezer. Yes, 19 little bone broth babies are going into the freezer. Bye-bye. And for well under $7, less than that because I forgot my lemon, um, I've got bone broth. I calculated I have 19 cups of bone broth. How many ounces is that? Let's ask Alexa. Alexa, what is 19 cups in ounces? 152 ounces. So the cartons are 32. Alexa, what's 152 divided by 32? 152 divided by 32. So 4.75. So almost five cartons of bone broth equivalent. That makes me go like this. Makes me so excited that I will, with my glorious morning face and my morning bun and my thing that needs to be fixed, all my stuff, share with you guys. So, I know I've been super absent. There's been a lot going on in life. Sorry, it's just life. But when I come across something fun like this, I still wanna share it. So, I hope that that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm going to post this onto Facebook and I will link the, um, Pinterest link to the rotisserie chicken. Like I said, the only other thing I want to say is that I deboned it, put all the bones back in and set it on high pressure for three hours, skim the fat off, strained all the bones out and got that. I mean, that was just logical to me because I've learned from the masters that I know, um, in all this mass cooking, my mother-in-law my friend Brandy, Rebecca. Um, so, yay! Bone broth. Seri sorry if I'm like staring at a weird spot. I never know where to look at this thing. I think I should be looking at this, but it's just, it's awkward people. So, I am not gentle and I am not graceful, but I am trying. So, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Mwah!